I'll be talking about threat protection in Microsoft 365 and what are the different security features and capabilities available. There are so many capabilities available in both Azure and Microsoft 365 and it's been a challenge to compare these services and look them all together because some of them are already there just for 365 and there are many threat protection let's say for Windows and Azure conditional access um, and so there are so many features and capabilities available across the services so what I've done is put together a chart where I have uh, anything which is revolving around the threat protection like how many different ways uh, Microsoft is providing a threat protection across its uh, Azure and Microsoft 365 so threat protection in Office 365 and Azure as you can see threat protection uh, as I talked about the Azure AD cloud app security um, Azure Threat Protection, Office 365 Threat Protection, Exchange Online Protection, Windows ATP and Cloud App Security, all that stuff is there. Uh, for this series, I'll be going and try my best to cover all of them. So we'll start with the security capabilities in Office 365 Advanced Threat Protection. And most of the cases uh, you will need E5 or you can buy that service uh, by paying additional for this advanced threat protection. So we are not going into the licensing, we'll just look into the different capabilities available in advanced threat protection in Office 365. So now we will look into how to create a safe attachment policies ATP, which comes with your subscription. So first thing remember, you are into Office 365 security and compliance then you go to policies and then adb safe attachment which will uh, look for content malicious content in your email attachment sharepoint and onedrive and microsoft teams and here we are uh, first thing you'll have to do you will have to enable this option now we enable this option and then click here and give it a name or friendly name safe attach meant and then I'm gonna select this dynamic delivery so dynamic delivery and there are different options if you select off means attachment will not be scanned for malware so of course we want to scan it monitor me it will continue to deliver the message and track scan result block means it will block future emails and attachment with deleted malwares detected malwares replace means it will uh, block the attachment with detected malware continue to deliver the message here it will deliver the message without attachment immediately so at least communication uh, to your recipient is there and then attachment will be then scanned in the sandbox so we're going to select this option so now we will also select this option to redirect the attachment on detection so in this case let's say if we have a security team for example i'll put my another account so in that case it could be your security team who's going to monitor it you can select this option Next, we will select where we want to apply this policy. So the domain is, so I have got three domains and I want to apply to all of them. And there is no exception basically. And then click As you can see, we select more, we can do more granular control. We don't need that. Click on save. And this will only work for the Office 365 hosted mailbox. So 
here you go as you can see that's policy has been created and the description is everything here 